Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week we're going to talk about body condition scoring cows. And this information is covered in great detail in chapter 20 of the newest edition of our beef cattle manual. But basically, body condition scoring cows is a, is a system we have in place where the scores themselves range from one to nine, where one indicates an extremely thin, emaciated cow, and a nine indicates a very fat, obese cow. Now, we assign body condition scores or we evaluate body condition scores. We always suggest doing it at weaning as we think about the normal production cycle of cows. Typically, they're gonna be in as good a shape as they're ever in at the time they calve. And as they lactate, they're gonna melt down and get thinner. And by the time we wean the calf, we anticipate they'll probably be about as thin as they should be through the normal production cycle. We're gonna talk the next couple weeks about using body condition scores as a management tool and when the optimum times of the year if we need to add body condition actually happen. So when we evaluate body condition scores we want to take a look at things that actually indicate body fat reserves on the cows. Now what I mean by that is we want to look beyond the depth of a cow, the length of a cow, the frame size, the hair coat, the pregnancy status, and we actually want to take a look at those things and, and the indicators on cows along their top, around their tail head, through their brisket and flank line of where they're going to deposit fat. Uh, typically, if we think about a body condition score 5 cow, right there in the middle of that scoring system, we say it's about a 7% of her weight that's going to change as we go from one body condition score to another. So for example, if we've got a body condition score 5 cow that weighs 1,200 pounds at weaning, if we want to take her to a body condition score 6, about 7% of that weight means we're going to take her to about 1,284 pounds. If we let her drop to a body condition score 4, we'd expect her to drop down to about 1,116 pounds. So why do we talk about body condition scores and why are they important? The biggest constraint we have to getting cows to calve and wean a calf every 12 months is that postpartum interval in which we've got to get them rebred in 80 to 85 days. We know that nutrition is highly correlated to reproductive efficiency and maternal performance. And so as we think about the stresses a cow goes through and what typically goes on at the point of developing a fetus, giving birth, the particularly in spring calving cows, some of the environmental stresses that we face in terms of times of the year when she's living in cold, wet weather, which drives up her energy needs and she's not going to be able to meet those just through what we're feeding. We've got to have some body fat reserves in cows to get them to breed back or just return to heat, have a fertile heat, and breed back within 80 to 85 days postpartum. In cow-calf operations, it's reproductive efficiency and actual weaning a calf every year is as economically important a trait as what we deal with. And so what is our target? What are we shooting for in terms of a body condition score? We'd like to see our mature cow herd somewhere between a five and a six at the point that they calve. Let's say a five and a half is optimum. So we know that that cow going through the stresses of calving, lactation, particularly environmental stresses, is going to be, have the body fat reserve she needs to breed back in a timely fashion. We'll continue to talk about this next week. I appreciate you joining us this week on SunUp TV.